And now on to this other report of more violations of human rights. Crime wave is on the rise in South, Southern Cameroon with the advent of the ongoing war declared by the colonial La Republic to Cameroon's government. It is sponsored by the fact that many that before the war had a means of livelihood are now left with nothing and many have lost their businesses as a result of the collective punishment strategy of the occupational forces of La Republic to Cameroon. The colonial La Republic to Cameroon's government occupational forces in southern Cameroon's Ambazonia have burned down businesses, destroyed farmlands with crops, forcefully collected people's life savings and those who had their livings through bike riding. They have had their bikes burned to ashes and others. They were sent by BS thugs to their junior ones back home. All these actions have put many youths in Ambazonia in a fixed corner and others, out of frustration, are compelled to adopt unorthodox means to survive and meet their ambition. A young girl has been raped, killed, and dumped by unidentified men in the Bandar, a locality in Boya local government area. The question is, why kill her after raping her? Well, another day with bad news in southern Cameroon, and particularly the Atlantic zone of Amazonia. The Banda Mile 14 in Boya is on the spotlight again, this time the discovery of the lifeless body of a young girl. The girl said to be a student of government secondary school, the Banda, was found lifeless on the banks of the Bingwe stream, laying half naked. She was seen with rape evidence and her hands tied and her head butchered. Well, the perpetrators of the gruesome act remains unknown and in the wild at the moment. Crime has been under increase across the Cameroons, but recently the rape and mother of young girls have been rampant.